Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, yep, what you're seeing in the screen is Jenkins. So yes, so the video is uh, going to be about Jenkins integrated with JMeter. And in fact, this is one of the questions I think which is uh, one of our subscriber, I think his name is Venu. So he's asking uh, this for a long time. So I have taken uh, the time today and I'm preparing this video. So this video is all about going to be Jenkins integrating with JMeter and in fact he has even asked about uh, Jenkins integrated with CI CD pipeline so we'll see that in our next video but for now I will give you an introduction ab about how to in uh, integrate your Jenkins your code your github code will be uh, sorry your JMeter code or your JMeter script will be in the github repo and you're going to run your JMeter test so this is all about going to be a more interesting so please do watch each and each and every step because there is like lots of steps and there's like a lot of um, changes because if you even if you google if you really want to google the same thing which i'm making uh, the name the component the titles have changed recently so you could not find the exact thing so that's the reason I, i'm requesting you to go through my entire video and uh, try to set up and try to exactly replicate the same thing because this i in fact i have in fact even referred so many videos and enough the videos they have given you uh, give will give you this amount of minute details so i think you must have uh, found out in all my videos so if i do not uh, at first i do not understand it, then i will not take a class on that so since in this video uh, i will show you how to do that each and every single step uh, so that you can exactly replicate and you can build it and in case if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section i will prepare a video on that and we can even have a discussion and yep so without any further ado, let's go to the video and before that this is me your son shanmukam you all know and from little star youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet share the video with your friends who are really looking for help uh, with jenkins jmeter near load devops performance testing load and whatnot so and please uh, join the whatsapp channel we have lots um, we have uh, like almost 300 performance testers in the group and who are like actively helping other people so please do join the group and we have a set of people who are actively helping uh, the others and uh, please consider joining my channel and that will help me to and um, like it will motivate me to create quality content like this and it'll help me to get some time for you to um, prepare these videos so please do consider joining my channel again and yeah so with no further delay let's go to the video and for that the first step so we need to have three things so the first part is uh, let me open the notepad first so you need to have the following prerequisites and i believe you must see this by now so the prerequisites and that first thing is your yeah, jenkins installation so make sure you have your jenkins installed and then the second part is you must have your JMeter set up in your local machine. So I'm going to use my local JMeter setup for this video. In fact, I will show you how to do that uh, from the JMeter in our next video. So that's going to be more interesting. Again, like we can try everything else in the which is possible in the world. So, and the third part is your GitHub. So you need to have a GitHub repository. And in this video, I'll show you um, how to do it with the public and the private repository. Yeah, so that's the first step. So that's a prerequisite. And then you must have, so I already have the JMeter script. So, uh, and I already have installed Jenkins along with the plugins. And I'll show you what are the plugins and how to do that. So we need to have the plugins, uh, mainly the Git plugin, and then uh, the performance testing plugin. So these will help you to create and save the results and JMeter have the latest version i would always advise you to have this latest version so keep it as 5.6.3 and then in the github i have a repo and it's a public a repo and then i have uh, pasted i mean i have uh, uploaded my script to this location uh, so i have a public repository and my script is in this location right so the next step let's go to the jenkins so now I'm in the Jenkins. Let me go to the dashboard. So I'm in the dashboard now and go to the manage Jenkins. And here go to the plugin manager and search for Git. So if you, if you have, then you'll get it, get the Git on the top. But if you don't have, go to the available plugins and search for Git and install the Git, right? 
and yep so that's one thing which you need in terms of your installation and also uh, just search for the performance center let me go back to the plugin manager and uh, you need to have the performance so this is a must tool for your apache jmeter or junit.rs scripts so that's again quite important for you to run the test so yeah uh, let me note it down i think i have noted down the git and performance so you must need these plugins and then the next step is we need to um, configure uh, or we need to create a pipeline. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to new item and I'm going to run create a jmeter minus sorry underscore test. And then I'm choosing a pipeline, clicking OK, and this will create a pipeline for me. Under this. I'm going to paste the pipeline script here and that will run the test and before that uh, let me exp let me take that script for you I have the script here and let me explain it to you so here uh, I believe you can see my screen very well okay I'll, I can even explain the same thing uh, in my notepad so if you see uh, I have my pipeline and then I have set up the agent as any agent. So if you remember, if you are someone who is following my videos on Azure DevOps, so there we have the agent set up. So in case if you want to run this in a different agent, you can set uh, configure the agent here. And then in the third line, you can see the tools. So I'm going to use the Git as my default tool. And then what stage I'm going to do is, so before I run this test, I'm going to clean the workspace so that the test other stage will run perfectly fine. And then in line 12, this is another stage. So I separate these space, I mean like this step uh, or this testing into multiple stages. So the first step is your cleaning workspace stage. So you will understand that in while I'm running the test, you can see that in a separate box kind of setup, all these stages will be like separated into a different setup. And then uh, the second thing is second stage uh, is cloning the repository. So we all know uh, the Git clone. So this is something like the Git clone repository. And I'm using the main branch as my, uh, let me show you. Um, yep. So here is my GitHub repo. And if you go to my repo, I have my main branch. In fact, I do have multiple branches, but I'm going to use main branch as my uh, testing branch. And then this is the URL that I have to use. And this URL, how can you get it? So go to the code and then copy it here. So here you can get the URL, which ends with .get. So this is something when you want to clone your repo, you'll have to have this .get, right? So that's how you have to use it. So that's the reason I'm showing you how to do that. And then, yep. And then the next stage. So you have cloned your repository. So you firstly have cleaned your workspace and then you have cloned your repository. And then you are going to run your JMeter test. And this is the step. So I will, in fact, even save this file in this repository so that you can make use of it. And this is the location I'm using. So in case if I'm using a Linux machine, you have to use uh, a different path. And I can even share that with you in case if you are using a Linux um, testing, a uh, Linux environment for your testing. And that will be like, um, just a second, I think I have it with me already. Um, okay, I think I do not have it currently with me now, but I can share it with you. Maybe like we can try that as a separate video, like how to run your test uh, using a uh, Linux environment. But for now, yep. So we usually have one slash, right? So to escape that, we have to use two slashes in between each and every directory. And then I'm uh, choosing my jmeter.bat in my local machine. And then minus n minus t, the test name, the test file is going to be .jmx and the, the results file is results.jtl. So that's another stage running jmeter test. And then the last stage is the publishing the jmeter report where I'm going to uh, publish my jmeter uh, report. So that is all about your configuration. And then coming back here, so let me apply save and then there is one more thing so go to the configure part here okay we are already there and then some few things which i have missed to tell you so go to the manage jenkins here and then under the tools um, 
on the tools section you can see maven configuration you can see the jdk installations and then the main one which is the git installation so if you see here the name is default and then the path to git executable it is my c drive program files git folder and then under that i have bin and then i have the git.exe so just make sure you are using the right path to your git executable and this uh, information will not be shared with most of the uh, in most of the videos i have even checked it they won't share you these informations so um, yep so just add it and in case if you want to run even gradle or ant or maven you can also install but for now i'm going to use only my git installation and yep so with that uh, let's move back uh, let's go to the manage jenkins and let me see uh, whether it okay and then one more part so that's the credentials thing so if you haven't added your credentials so in case in here i have added my credentials which is the github credential using this login account details and if i want to update it i can update it if i want to move i can move it so that's one thing so just make sure you add your credentials the github credentials here in case if you're using a private repo and then what else did i do okay i added the plugins that's fine in case if you want to add any notes you can add it here and uh, the notes which is mainly your agent so that's something like what we do in the azure devops you can add your agent here and then um, yeah, I think only these are the changes which I made. Let me check what uh, did I do uh, apart from that. Uh, yes, so I found out, uh, sorry, I found it, that in case if you're using a Linux uh, machine, you will have to use the path in this manner. So you have to choose the path. And you don't have the C colon in uh, Linux. It will be like the path uh, to your jmeter.bat file and the slash comes as like forward slash and then the minus minus n minus t and then you'll have your uh, test plan at jmx file and then the result so this is how you can use it in the linux uh, format and yep so now you have your jmeter file and you have your uh, test script in this location so this is the file which i'm going to test just to recap so i'm going to run this test and let's go to the uh, jenkins so yeah with that i think i have made only very few of the changes in case if you are facing any issues or if you're stuck somewhere please do message in the comment section or even you can message me in the whatsapp channel i would recommend you mostly to uh, just uh, message me in the youtube comments so that i can just quickly jump in and in fact if i give you the answer there then that will be helpful for the other people as well so let's go to the dashboard uh, let me open the jmeter test and let's start the test now build now yep the test has started successfully and it's running fine so the first step uh, uh so like it uh, i wanted to tell you the stage thing that you remember if you see here each and every stage the stage clean workspace right so that's here the clean workspace if you see it's executed successfully and then the clone repository that's the next stage so the clone repository has completed here so if you see uh the kit installation does not exist it's none but the clone repository has happened successfully so if you see uh, this part has completed successfully and then uh, the next stage where the jmeter test so if you see uh, the, that's the next stage we are running the jmeter test and then the last stage which is the published jmeter report so uh, like i mentioned it's like mentioned in the stage view so since we have distributed all these part in separate stages we were able to achieve this stage part and then yep i think the test has completed successfully uh, yeah and here we have got the results as well so in case if, you are, if we want to see uh, or watch the results so we can see here I got a HTTP request where we have got 10 samples, 256 as the average response time, and minimum is 108, 108 response time, and the maximum response time is 490 milliseconds. And yeah, so this is how uh, we run the test. And in fact, uh, this is a very basic thing. Uh, the next one is I will show you how to run a full fledged load test with like we can plan something like two uh, 100 users, and we will see how does it work. And yep, so here if you see the logs. Uh, Uh, so yeah, to watch the results, uh, go to the JMeter test, click on the performance trend, click on the last report, and here you can see uh, these number of samples, like how many requests you have sent, and then the average response times, the minimum response time, the 90th percentile, uh, and then the maximum, uh, and then the HTTP code, which is like how many have passed, and then here you can even see the, how many requests have uh, failed, or like, how, uh, like total number of requests that has been failed. 
And yeah, so you can see all these in the performance report. And then when you go to the uh, Git build data, you can see the revision, the repository, what you have used and which branch did you used for this testing. So you can watch all these and um, yep, and then you can even watch the pipeline steps, like what did you do uh, during your testing, uh, during your build process and you have did your cloning, you have did your run JMeter test and then you published your uh, test report. So all these things you can watch in your uh, uh, Jenkins pipeline and then going to the workspaces here you can see uh, the files so in, this is the step where you, you are like cloning your files from your github to your local workspace and this is how it works so this is how the cloning works and it, it sets up all the files in your workspace so yeah so in our next video we will see how to uh, run a full-fledged load test so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please to share the video with your friends reshare it uh, my linkedin post as well and uh, uh, please do consider joining my channel yep so with that i come to an end and i definitely believe this video will be very useful to you so until i meet you in the next video it's bye bye from us and if you're a little slow youtube channel take care and bye bye